It's okay to blow out your backgrounds. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how and why as we go about creating this perfectly imperfect portrait. What's up, my friends? Welcome to SLR Lounge. We have helping us the lovely Gabrielle. We'll link her up. You guys can follow her on Instagram. Now, here's the thing. As photographers, so oftentimes we get kind of stuck into these certain mindsets that an image has to be perfectly lit. We have to place our subject in the shadows, pump in a bunch of light. We can't have blown out backgrounds. And what we end up getting oftentimes are what I like to call these kind of very sterile images. They're images that have uh, well, a lot of technique, but not a lot of emotion and feel in it. So what we're gonna do is in this scene, I'm gonna let the background completely blow out and I'm gonna tell you why. We're also gonna use some hard highlights to kind of create a sort of imperfect nature to the image, but we're also gonna build into a scene where we get this very refined looking image that also feels natural. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. Now, first thing first, I wanna think composition and for my composition, I'm kind of thinking of this shot right here where we're gonna shoot Gabrielle kind of sitting back on those pillows just a bit. So it's gonna be this shot and Gabrielle, I'm just gonna take a quick shot. Now, the reason why I don't want to kind of shoot everything in uh, like, like underexposed, right? Is because for a scene like this, if we were to actually expose or underexpose and pump a lot of light, yes, we could add a lot of light to Gabrielle, we could light her up, but the thing is, is that in a scene like this that you'd probably have in your home, you're gonna have a lot of distractions outside. We have cars, we have moving trucks, we have other buildings. So if I underexpose, I'm just gonna be showing those things off. So instead, what I'm gonna do is open out to 1.4. I'm shooting this on the Sigma Art 24 millimeter because I wanna get some of the exaggeration of this lens. And we're gonna step in kind of close. Now, if I look at the exposure, I'm gonna let the exposure kind of stay up high where we're letting the background sort of blow out. Now, this is gonna be the baseline exposure, but I need to get Gabrielle into the right spot before I know completely, right? Gabrielle, look at me real quick, right there. Now go ahead and start scooting back. And what we're gonna do is place Gabrielle in this little spot of these hard highlights that are kind of coming through. That looks great. And you can kind of see, we're gonna let this highlight kind of come through and hit her shoulder just like that. And it's gonna sort of accentuate the, the dress, the details, everything about the shot and add a little bit more interest in our photograph. So right here now, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shot again. And this go around, Gabrielle, I'm gonna have you lean. Let's see, let's cover this. And let's have you kind of lean a little bit onto the wall. I love that. Brush the hair on the right side. There you go, fix the necklace so it hangs straight and come up with the, the head and then pull the hair down and then lean back into it. So now Gabrielle, bring the chin this way a little bit. There, perfect. So look at the difference in these two shots. Like when I look at this, yes, we can put her completely into the shadow, right? And you'll notice that, yes, we do have highlights being blown out, but the shot has so much more visual interest than trying to just kind of perfect the lighting. So the only other thing I'm gonna do with this is I wanna make sure that the exposure is like spot on. So I do wanna retain as much of the highlights on the dress and the chest as possible. I'll, I'll kind of blow some a little more out in post, right? So what I'm gonna do is just check my histogram and see if there's any more room for me to work a little bit. And I do have a little bit more room. So if I bring this up to one one thousandth, I'm still allowing the shadows to be completely captured and we can retain just a little more of the skin tone on the chest. The only other thing though, is that we have a lot of sort of foreground and I see this light switch. I can remove the light switch in post, but the other issue is that the foreground looks a little bit boring. So to break it up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a plant. We're gonna scoot this plant into the frame. I'm just gonna kind of adjust it so it kind of works with my framing of Gabrielle. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is let this be my foreground as we shoot Gabrielle right there. And Gabrielle, go ahead and look into the camera. I'm gonna let you move now with it. I wanna control a little bit just cause we're using that hard light. I wanna make sure none of it hits her nose. So bring the chin back and tilt the head this way, this way a little bit. There, right there. So look at the final image. This is what we would call perfectly imperfect where we've kind of utilized this imperfect lighting 
to give the image a, a natural and sort of authentic vibe to it. So it's okay to blow out your backgrounds. It's okay to shoot bright, especially when it comes to subjects like bridal portraits that look amazing bright and airy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You guys can follow Gabrielle on her Instagram and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.